The 7th Light Cavalry previously the 28th Light Cavalry, was a regular Army Cavalry Regiment in the British Indian Army. It was raised in 1784 under the East India Company. The regiment later saw service on the North West Frontier and in World War I and World War II. In 1947, it was allocated to the New Indian Army, where it continues to exist as the 7th Light Cavalry. Formation and early history The history of this regiment can be traced to 1784 when a force of cavalry was hired from the Nawab of Arkat by the East India Company. These regiments subsequently mutinied over pay issues. The regiments involved were disbanded and from their remnants, volunteers formed the 2nd Madras Cavalry. This new regiment would eventually become the 7th Light Cavalry, the title was first changed to that of 3rd Madras Native Cavalry. Under this designation the regiment first saw action during the 3rd Mysore War in 1790, against Tipu Sultan, the regiment was next in action during the 4th Mysore War in 1799. It subsequently fought with distinction at the Battle of Seringapatam and at the Battle of Mahidpur in the Pandari War of 1817, after which it was renamed the 3rd Madras Light Cavalry. For these actions, the regiment was awarded the battle honours Mysore, Seringapatam, and Mahidipur. The regiment was subsequently involved in several minor operations against the southern Marathas from 1844 to 1855. A detachment of the 3rd Madras Light Cavalry was then sent to join the Deccan Horse during the mutiny of 1857. During the remainder of the 19th century the regiment did not see any action. In 1891 the regiment was converted to Lancers, becoming the 3rd Regiment of Madras Lancers. In the reorganization of the Indian Army of 1903, their title was changed to the 28th Light Cavalry. During this time the class composition of the regiment was 33% Tamils from Madras Presidency, 33% Rajputs from Rajasthan and 34% Punjabi Dogras. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War I At the start of World War I, the regiment was stationed in Quetta as part of the 4th Quetta Division. In July 1915, two squadrons were sent to Persia where they were mounted on camels. In this role, they were tasked with stopping German agents from traveling across Persia to Afghanistan. The remainder of the regiment was posted to Persia in November 1915. The regiment's effectiveness in Persia was demonstrated when a detachment captured a German officer, Lieutenant Winkelmann, who was attempting to reach the Emir of Afghanistan to convince him to rebel or start a jihad against the British in India. Topic: Russia. Following the Russian Revolution the regiment was sent to Trans-Caspasia in May 1918 to assist the white Russian Menshevik forces to fight the Bolsheviks. In April 1919 the regiment returned to Mesht in Persia, where it stayed for seven months employed in escorting convoys. In November 1919 the regiment started back for India and reached Lucknow in February 1920. The regiment received the battle honours Merv and Persia 1915 for their services in the Great War. Topic. Between the wars In 1921 the 28th Light Cavalry left Lucknow for Dera Ishmael Khan on the northwest frontier. In 1922 another reorganization saw the regiment renamed as the 7th Light Cavalry and the class composition was altered. The proportion of Tamils was reduced to 25% while that of the Rajputs from Rajasthan was increased to 42%. From 1924 to 1929 it was stationed at Bolaram, followed by Sialkot, then Jalunda until October 1933. The regiment then moved to Lorelei in Balakistan. It stayed there until October 1935 before moving back to Bolaram where it was stationed at the start of the Second World War. The same year the Indianization of the Indian Army Officer Corps began in selected regiments. Initially in the cavalry the two units selected were the 7th Light Cavalry and the 16th Light Cavalry. Under this policy British officers would no longer be appointed to the regiment. Instead newly commissioned Indian officers, initially trained at Royal Military College, Sandhurst and from 1932 onwards at the Indian Military Academy, Dehradun, would be appointed instead. 
The first Indian officer was appointed in December 1923. By September 1939, 16 of the 22 officers of the regiment were Indian. Topic: <inaudible> World War II. At the start of the Second World War, the regiment was stationed in Bolaram as part of the 4th Secunderabad Cavalry Brigade. The 7th Light Cavalry were brigaded with the 14th, 20th Hussars. Prince Albert Victor's Own Cavalry 3rd Field Regiment, Royal Artillery 4th Cavalry Brigade Signal Troop, the last mounted parade of the 7th Light Cavalry took place in 1940. However even by early 1941 the only mechanical transport provided for the now dismounted regiment was an Austin car for the Commandant and a few motorbikes for dispatch riders. Vehicles trickled in and finally a full complement of 52 Stuart tanks was received by April 1943. The regiment was then attached to the 254th Indian Tank Brigade in November 1941. The brigade came under the command of Brigadier Reginald Schoons. When it was moved to Impel in November and December 1943, the 254th Indian Tank Brigade consisted of the following major units: 7th Light Cavalry, 3rd Carabineers 3rd BTN 4th Bombay Grenadiers The brigade served with the 5th Indian Division and the 7th Indian Infantry Divisions in Burma. It participated in the Battle of Impul, Battle of Khyok Myong Bridgehead, Battle of Maktila, and Operation Dracula Rangoon Road. In June 1945 the 7th Light Cavalry sailed from Rangoon to Madras and by July was stationed at Ahmednagar. In August 1945 it was selected to form part of the British Indian Division This division served with the British Commonwealth Occupation Forces as part of the Allied Occupation Forces in Japan. The move to Japan occurred during March, April 1946. The regiment returned to India in August 1947. Topic post war In 1947, the regiment passed to the independent nation of India. From late 1947, it played a key role in the Jammu and Kashmir operations, surmounting the heights of Zojila at 11,500 feet, and the breakthrough on 1 November 1948. The first troop leader was Captain Sharik Dev Singh Jamwal. The commanding officer of the regiment was awarded the coveted Mahavir Chakra. Regimental titles 1784 Second Regiment of Madras Native Cavalry 1786 to 1 Stone Regiment of Madras Native Cavalry 1788 Third Regiment of Madras Native Cavalry 1819 Third Regiment of Madras Light Cavalry 1891 Third Regiment of Madras Lancers 1903 28th Light Cavalry 1922 7th Light Cavalry 1947 7th Light Cavalry to India on independence Topic <inaudible> Victoria Cross recipient L Daffader Gobind Singh 28th Light Cavalry February 1st 1917 Place of action, east of Pezières, France attached to the second Lancers Gardner's Horse. Citation, Lance Daffader Gobind Singh of the Indian Cavalry was awarded the Victoria Cross for most conspicuous bravery and devotion to duty in thrice volunteering to carry messages between the regiment and brigade headquarters, a distance of one and a half miles over open ground which was under the observation and heavy fire of the enemy. He succeeded each time in delivering his message, although on each occasion his horse was shot and he was compelled to finish his journey on foot. <laughs> <laughs> Uniforms and insignia During the early years of its existence the regiment wore red coats with green facings and gold lace. In 1814 the uniform was changed to dark blue with orange facings. In 1817 a general order instructed that the dress of all regular native cavalry in the service of the HEIC should be changed to French grey a light blue, grey color. This was to remain the full dress coat color of the 7th Light Cavalry until 1914. 
The distinctive orange facings were changed to buff in 1846. In 1923, the pattern of badge introduced comprised crossed lances with the number 7 surmounted by a crown. In 1930 the design changed to crossed lances with a crown on the intersection, over a scroll with the regimental title. 